Hello and greetings and salutations everyone, it is I, Flip the Bacon, and we're continuing our blind let's play series of Tales of the Elements, which was developed by a guy that goes by the name of Last Benevolence, and it was published by Random Beats Music, which I have to say a big thank you to these two for hooking me up a copy of this game to do a blind let's play series on and a game review after I finish playing. So yeah, we're continuing on, and speaking of which, I hope everyone's having a nice New Year's um, Eve night or whatever it is, but yeah. Uh, Happy New Year's to everyone. Uh, we'll be rolling into 2017 tonight here in a few hours. So, what does this guy he says? He says he's feeling strange. There's no, there's a force field that surrounds these ruins here. You'll see, they also affect our abilities. I can't even remember how to write a rhyme. Well, that's probably not a good thing there. Look at this. We got some crop growing right here. We got some stuff going on in there. So, let's see what this item shop has. Welcome to the shop. What do you need, man? And... Nothing here. We don't need none of your wares. It's kind of a village here. We're in a village. Uh, I can't remember what it was called. I think it was Cypher. As I just saw the name pop up there for a second. So, we're just checking it out. Uh, me? Rap? Nah, you must be joking. So, whoa! Murdoch's here? Benevolence? Dude. What? K okay, Murdoch. Hey, hey, I guess that means it worked, homie. What worked? Remember that useless charm you picked up? Uh, picked up from before? You must have picked up another one on your way out here, homie. Oh, yeah. I remember now. Yeah, I remember picking that up. But how did you figure out how to get it to work? Er, uh, and how did you know that I had it? I didn't even notice myself picking it up. Simple. I've been catching up on my studying, so I knew how to use it soon after you guys left Crescendo's. And to answer your question, to answer your other question, if, if a bond charm begins to glow, it means that someone's holding the corresponding one. Someone with the knowledge to use it can then activate theirs and it'll show them who's carrying the other one. Okay, I totally understood all of that, but the uh, important thing is you're here and I'm really glad to have bumped into you, man. I'm helping somebody with something here. Maybe you can help me with the job and then we can just work back, right? Probably not. Heh heh, <laughs> sorry homie, we're stuck. But on the bright side, we could team up here and find our ways back to the others. Nice. Yeah, I guess that sounds good enough. Let's dash. I'm right behind you, homie. Key Murdoch has joined the party. Nice! So we got the Murdoch on our team now. Cool. I was not expecting to have Mr. Murdoch on our team. So, sweet. And he's right up to, and the level's right up with us. Oh, wow. Look at that! That hot LP gives him so much um, attack damage. That is insane. I am super glad I bought that earlier. Alright. Um... Let's see what kind of skills our Mr. Uh, Murdoch has here. I guess we gotta switch over there and then we'll hit here. He got that equipped. And, uh. Wow, look at this. He got. Uh, oh, we messed that up. Fresh Blitz, we'll do that, and the um, LB slot, and then we'll do Sick Mix in the T slot, and then we'll do Fire in the Y slot, and Cold Break in the U slot. That reminds me, we could probably switch over to us. I think we had a new skill. Um, you, no, no, we don't. I don't think we had one. Never mind. What? What's good, son? Final records? Yeah, we got plenty of them. Oh, there was a treasure chest up there. 
I wonder if we can t open that. Locked. Ah. It was wishful thinking, but you know, you never know. Just above here is the Writer's Guild. The Writer's Guild was started to bring together the DJs and MC. MC is something after the fall of hip hop. But did you know that the building used to, used for the Writer's Guild here was used by a king in the past? Ah, that's pretty cool. We found that out. And we're still just kind of checking out the, this area, see what's going on here. You're going into the allegory? Yo, listen. We all tried that crap. Ain't no way you, no way you can get through that joint. See this? I ain't even dressed up like an MC no more. I gave that trash up. Man, eh, let's see, man. Nass was right. Hip hop is dead, yo. I don't think that way, my friend. Ah, oh, look, we got a little dwarf here. Awesome, welcome to the equipment shop. Not much here, but whatever. What can I do for you? Ah, carbon mic. Um. Yes, we'll buy that. I got the cash for it. And uh, let's go ahead and equip that weapon. All right. There, we made sure we had the right mic this time. And uh, doesn't change what he does back there. So here we are, we're checking this out. Uh, cool, I have Murdoch's on our team. Mr. K himself. Let's check out this Writer's Guild before we go any further. Okay, what does this say here? I heard about you, Benevolence. I heard about you, Benevolence, right? Yeah, that's me. Or I should not say me, but it is. Don't let the other guys discourage you. If there's anyone who has a chance to beat the allegory, it is definitely you. You haven't been here long enough to lose much of your strength. Too bad you entered this place. Now you're stuck like the rest of us, and to think this place used to house the entrance to a paradise. You going into the allegory? Nah. Whoa. Looks like no one's using this thing. Ah, it's a mic. Welcome to the Riders Guild, or at least what's left of it anyway. Oh, I apologize about my partner here. She's a little on edge about things. Welcome to the Writer's Guild. Got any questions? Good, because I ain't got any answers, or many answers. Sorry, the boss is out right now. Let's see what you got going on up here. He keeps on saying I believe no one's using these things. So let's see. Let's see. Do you know the history of the allegory? Nah, what's the allegory? Haha, uh -huh, I'm glad you asked. An allegory is a story, poem, song, or picture that has a hidden meaning in the relation to morals or politics. Recall that cave at the back of this village, the allegory, because we felt that it held a deep meaning of some kind. It makes more sense if I share with you the history of this cave. Many years ago, this very building was the dwelling place of a king who ruled over everything. At the time, rumor held that the one who ventured into the cave and overcame its difficulties would find a better life at the other side of it. So the, this king decided to take on this challenge and venture through this place. He eventually made it to the other side and you know what he found? <laughs> AT aliens. No money, my mixtape, more money, more problems, the good life. Well, he found a paradise on the other side of the cave. 
So he decided to settle there for some time. Life was good there, however. He became lonely and he wanted his friends to enjoy the life he was living there. So he schemed and found a way to open a path to paradise so that everyone could enjoy living there with him. Afterwards, however, a friend of his turned out to be dishonest in some way and not mentioned in some way, not mentioned in writing, and so the king tried to reestablish laws. Finally, this ended ended the king being finally this ended in the king being banished from par from the very paradise that he had opened up to the people. Strange story, isn't it? This experience must have must have had some deep meaning. This experience must have had some deep meaning to it, and we feel the feel the cave has some sort of power or influence over what has transpired. It may be that this all has deeper meaning, and if you ask me. I don't think that's how the story really went. I believe there's a lot of what took I believe that a lot of what took place in the story was symbolic for something much deeper. Anyway, nice chatting with you. That was pretty cool. So Mr. Murdoch, let's do it. Let's go through that cave. I guess we're ready. I had to take it on. I have some kind of problem with me? I have shock on me. Or something. Um, let's see what Murdoch's things do. Medicine. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do this. All right. Inside that cave are many obstacles. Each one you have to overcome to keep from stopping your flows. We have all tried but fell one after one after one like dynamos. Okay. So what's the goal? You have to activate the console to remove the force field surrounding this place and surrounding this place and its outgoing roads sounds simple I'll be back there I'll be there and back before a rhyming thought hits you there's no need to return here afterwards I can tell that you're headed somewhere yourself anyways oh th so this cave can take me to the other side of the mountains yep that's right the barrier surrounding this place needs to be removed from inside first though this will also get rid of the adverse effects that we're experiencing here. All right, sounds good. Take care of it. I'll take care of it or something. The allegory is a place that can reveal those those who've entered it can reveal those who enter it and their world around them. So be careful. The allegory is a place that can reveal those who enter it and their world around them. So be careful. Okay, let's go ahead and go back and buy some medicine real quick uh, before I get going too far in here. I have a feeling we might need a few. Does he have medicine? No, he doesn't. So, that's a bummer. Alright, so we're going back into the cave. Maybe the whatever this effect is, is always on us. Okay. I kind of wasted my mess and then I imagine. Oops, went up the wrong way. Here we go. There's a note in here. Read, yes. I'm leaving these messages for anyone who tries to enter this cave and brave it on their own. The cave contains many unspeakable horrors, but at the end of it, you may or may not find purpose. Ooh, we can't use our abilities. Dungeon key. Okay. So it looks like we're going to have to clear out each area. Yep.
Oh, look at that. What, is, what in the world is that thing? We gotta be careful of places like this. That's right. Veggie boost at the other judging key. Through the cave. After we kill this monster, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drop some bad news for you guys. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna end the video for now. After I bring back my homie. There we go. And. Okay. There we go. So, yep, we're going to end the video here, unfortunately. We will continue on with the next video coming right after this. But as I always say at the end of every single video here, flip that bacon. See you next time. And goodbye.